The Garage hosted an event about the intersection of virtual reality and meditation on Thursday. The meeting was guided by Julia Mossbridge, a member of the consciousness hacking community that explores ways in which technology can enhance self-exploration and psychological well-being. I decided to host the event at the garage at Northwestern because uh, this is a technology group. People are interested not just in understanding consciousness, but in applying what they understand to technological applications. After starting the meeting with a short group meditation, Josh Farkas, the CEO of a company called Cubicle Ninjas, discussed his new meditation app. So our new app is a, an app called Guided Meditation VR, and it utilizes new some of these awesome new VR technologies um, and allows people to kind of meditate uh, in a high-tech way. So uh, this is the Samsung Gear VR. It's a mobile VR headset, and uh, it works with your, your traditional phone. So I just grab my phone, plug it in to this guy, and press it in, and then uh, once inside, they have the ability to capture their heart rate by placing their finger kind of right below this, holding it there for about 10 seconds. The app also allows people to track their breath, heart rate, and stress levels. Attendees were able to try out the headsets and experience virtual reality for themselves. I was very intrigued, like I really wanted to look around and see what was going on, and I didn't feel like, oh, I'm really in that world, like with real glaciers because it was animation, you know? But it was delightful. It was like I felt it was a real place in the animation, you know? Cubicle Ninjas hopes that their virtual reality app simplifies meditation for people who struggle with the traditional practice and also makes meditation more accessible for everyone.